The last four years have been the warmest years on record globally, and 2018 was one of those. It was record carbon dioxide and methane in the atmosphere. I had record sea level, um, arising from breakdown of the Antarctic and the Greenland ice sheet. Climate change will affect us economically in ways that we don't yet understand. We've underestimated the downside of climate change in terms of the amount of damage it will do. We've had politicians, policy makers and scientific researchers say this is urgent, do it now, find something that you can do and act. Climate change is going to be expressed in different ways in different places, but a lot of what people really notice is the extremes, high temperatures, heat waves, droughts, frosts, storms, cyclones, things like that, and almost all of them are being influenced by climate change one way or the other. What ANU research into climate economics and policy highlights is we need to take seriously global action. So whether that is alternative ways of thinking about how we construct our cities, for example. We've used ANU climate research in the reports that we've produced. We make sure that they don't just go to the politicians and the policy makers, they go to the community. I think there are many economic opportunities and the key question is how do you make those opportunities scalable, attractive, affordable? We can reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and we can start now and secondly we can start to adapt to the climate changes that we're seeing already and that are anticipated to increase further in the future. The problem is urgent, it requires unified action but if we can't be unified let's act individually and this sort of forum encourages people to think they have power to do something about the issue.